So greetings, everyone. Apologies. Yeah. Um, first of all, uh, good evening. I see a few familiar faces on the board here, so hello to you all. Uh, Ray Watson, uh, lifelong Providence community member, um, very active. And the reason that I'm here tonight, um, it's not even so much against what's going on here and your goals, but more so because of the uh, very turbulent relationship that the community has had with John Hope, I'd say, at least over the past five to seven years. Um, I think the simple fact that um, you all have agreed to meet with the community before John Hope's board should say a lot, and my son agrees with me. Um, and I think really the issue is, is that this has been a consistent problem with John Hope. There's literally been community orgs that have gone to John Hope and said, hey, we understand you're having funding issues. You know, we're doing stuff that you all should be doing or want to do. So why don't we collaborate? We'll help you cover costs for the space. And then that way services will still be provided and you'll be able to meet your financial costs. No response, no interest, no nothing. Uh, so when that's been going on for about four or five years, and then all of a sudden, through the grapevine, we hear that there's a school moving in that no one really knew about that really gets serviced by John Hope. That's really where the problem comes from. And then my concern really is this. If this is the type of relationship that John Hope has with its community, what happens when y'all get in the door? And something's not the way that y'all thought it was going to be when you had the agreement. Or someone on the board gets upset with something y'all do that they don't like. If this is how they treat the community they're supposed to be servicing, what's the business relationship going to be like? Thirdly, I'll say this. All of these individuals that I'm seeing here, the reason I even get involved in most things is because I look around at the individuals that are involved, I look at what my relationship has been with them and the type of individuals I believe them to be from an integrity standpoint. So when I see these individuals involved, A, I know it's a worthy cause, and B, I know that they're going to be in it for the long run. So it's, it's very much up to the board what y'all decide to do tonight, but I can say with a great deal of confidence that if an agreement is signed tonight, the opposition isn't going to go anywhere, it's just going to keep mounting and it will continue to be an issue with you. My suggestion would be to postpone tonight. Yeah. You've got all of these lovely community members right here that are saying, hey, you know, if y'all are really trying to be supportive to our community, let's work together to find a space that meets each other's uh, needs. I just heard St. Joseph, that would be much better than them trying to put more homeless shelters over there because the community got very upset about that a year ago. Um, I think there's a lot of opportunity to collaborate here. I just would forewarn you all about putting your stock in John Ho as a mouthpiece for the community or as a good business partner moving forward. And that's all I have. Thank you, Brian.